Would you ever attempt to visit a house of someone you didn't like? No way. Would you ever want to go to a house of a person you're not connected to and decide I'm going to go there? When you're close to someone you feel comfortable to walk in, when you come to the house of Allah, it's Allah who's allowed you to come here to feel comfortable. So you walk through the door and say, Allahumma iftah li abwaaba rahmatik. Oh Allah, open for me the doors of your mercy. So Allah flings open the doors of mercy. You come in here, you fulfill your salah, you do some amazing, beautiful ibadah, worship for the sake of Allah. You listen to something that reminds you about Allah, that moves you, motivates you to become a better person. If you want to become a better person, you need to value the iman you have. You need to value the Lord who created you. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you can achieve consciousness of Allah. A lot of acts of worship were prescribed in order for us to develop a better relationship with Allah, fasting being one of them. When I translate لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ I say in order for you to develop the correct relationship with Allah. What is that relationship? It's a relationship of a worshipper and his Lord, a slave and the master. We are slaves of Allah. I put my head on the ground, but only and solely for the one who made me, no one else. I can never imagine putting my head on the ground in that position or posture for anyone or anything besides my maker. That's it. When I go down on my forehead, I say, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la, sajada wajhi lilladhi khalaqahu. My face has been put onto the ground in prostration for he who made it. Amazing. Look at that taqwa. You should be thankful to Allah for giving you an opportunity to put your head in the highest level of submission, which is closest to Allah. Sujood, the prostration. Aqrabu ma yakunu l'abdu li rabbihi wa huwa sajid. The closest that a slave is to his Lord is when he is in prostration. Brothers and sisters, take your time in sujood. Take your time in prostration. You're close to Allah. The closest you could ever be. Take your time in sujood. From now on, be conscious of the fact that when I am down there, I'm the closest to Allah. Don't just rush through your prostration. It's Allah. So when you seek the forgiveness of Allah, on one hand, Allah's forgiven you. Have you changed? The answer should be, yes, I've changed. I don't want to do this. If human weakness makes you falter once again, do not despair. Repeat the drill, subhanallah. Repeat it again to say, oh Allah, I regret it. Do you really regret it? Yes, I do. But it's the second time I've done this, but I regret it again. And you know what? I don't want to do this. I will not do it, oh Allah. I'm determined. Forgive me. You are my Lord. I have no option but to return to you. You are the greatest. You made me. In the first place, I didn't even ask to be made. You made me. You put me. You gave me. You controlled everything about me. You decided my color, my race, my family, whatever else, my surroundings. You decided so many factors for me. Oh Allah, I am your slave i depend on you wholly totally and solely have mercy on me have mercy on me if allah knows the ants that are under the rocks do you think he doesn't know you he knows you personally he knows your problems your name he knows everything about you more than you know about yourself